Lucas Kids, it's Lucas Kids, it's Lucas Kids. Well, hello, my fellow Carmelers. Welcome back to another episode of Lucas Kits. So you guys are the ones who picked the kit, and I'm going to reveal it now. This was the kit that got the most votes. The Tamiya 2001 Subaru Impreza Rally Car. You guys put all your votes down in the comments below. I also counted all the comments on my Facebook posts, and this is the one that won. But it doesn't mean the other ones aren't going to get shown. I basically made a list in order, and this is the first one. But the other kits, I will get to. But today, we're going to go on a journey taking a look at this excellent Tamiya kit. First of all, to me is excellent box art depicting the car. I really always liked the bug-eyed WRXs, and uh, this car has always intrigued me. It's uh, just a, an excellent performance vehicle, and uh, they did really amazing things in the rally circuits. And this is just one of the quite a few different Imprezas that. Tamiya has always been known of putting out. They really are into them, even down to the fact that one of their blues that they have is the actual correct Impreza blue, that mica blue, uh, TS50, I believe it's called. And I, that's one of my favorite colors, so I have a whole bunch of those. And, of course, that's what I'll be painting this the day I build it. Let's take a look at the box art real quick. Flipping over here, it's just got some nice side shots of the car. The front and the back of the car and then on this part right here there's an actual photograph of the interior of a built model and it's just got a lot of great parts and, and detail to it and I, this thing could be really fun and so we're going to start this off with the body and as usual in Tamiya fashion just a well executed body not a lot of prep has to be done not a lot of parting not a lot of parting lines but the uh, only issue I see in this is if you wanted to build this thing on the box and not have to paint it. They actually did do it in the correct color and it's even a bit metal flaked. But there's a few swirls in it. So, you know, maybe one guy could uh, build this thing and not really worry so much about those swirls. Once you get all the decals on and maybe you were going to dirty it up. But you could pretty much build this without painting it and you've got yourself a very good looking Impreza. But uh, me, I'm going to paint it, so I'm not too worried about those swirl marks. You can see if you can see right there, they're pretty bad right there. Other than that, just an outstanding, outstanding representation of a Subaru Impreza in scale, as usual, from Tamiya. So I'm just going to take all the sprues out of the packaging. Um, there's quite a few of them, and everything's all packaged up real nice. But you can see them pretty clearly here. And right on this first one, we've got really excellent suspension pieces. The coilovers look outstanding on 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 these Tamiya kits. They really, really have a great job of representing coils on your suspension and nice big brakes. But this is something pretty cool. Look at those helmets that they, they give you. There's two helmets in half that you have to put together. And there's a little holder inside the car that you can place these helmets in there to give the car the look of pre-race, you know, before the drivers get in, where they set the helmets. Or I'm probably not going to even use them when I build this. And these are just really cool helmets that can be used, like, in a diorama scene or something. It's nice to have stuff like that. Those are pretty cool. And it's in the same package behind it, we've got uh, a black sprue that has some of the suspension pieces and your radius rods for your rear end that holds that all together and keep all the wheels straight. And your front suspension and a skid plate right here. The next bag here has you know, some of the fans for the radiators, the, front, the other brakes. I believe these are the rear brakes and your exhaust and your transmission and whole drivetrain there and you got some more suspension pieces pretty accurate pretty realistic looking and there's that helmet holder I was talking about that kind of sits in the or the back seat would be and you have your nice dashboard and take a look got some really cool seats right here and the interior door panels and the last big sprue we got which is in body color is of course your whole chassis pan and we'll look at the back side of the chassis pan very nicely engraved detail of what it you know it looks quite proper looks quite accurate and uh, you got your bottom half of the engine detail right there you get that all painted up 
when you flip the car over, it looks really good once all the suspension is in. You've got all your roll cage. Roll cage is just incredible. Again, I keep harping about how nice Tamiya kits are. I'm sure this roll cage goes together perfect and fits in that car just, just right. They've never let me down in anything I've ever built of theirs. And we've got our clear, excellent full glass all the way around. You've got some skid plates that you'd end up painting those, but they should put them in the clear tree. I, I think that's to give you the option because it covers up so much detail of the suspension and everything. Sometimes builders will want to use them clear just so you can kind of see there. It's a little frosted, but I think you could see, you, you could probably see the suspension underneath. And that, that's, that could be pretty cool if you wanted to go in that direction. Me, who knows? Probably not. I like realism. But outstanding glass as usual. Pre-painted wheels. This is going to be nice because the way I plan on building this car, man, that's nice that these are already gold. And you can see the plastic was actually a silver and they actually painted these at the factory. So I'm going to take advantage of that and use those and just do a little bit of detail on the lugs. I'm going to have some nice wheels. And of course there's your amber and your red tail lights. Got some, comes with some screen right there. You can see the screen right there. And of course the tires, outstanding. A little bit of tread, nice rally tires. And the decal sheet are, is quite vibrant. Nice Subaru decals. That's really neat looking. That is some bright fluorescent yellow they did right there. That's going to look really good against the blue. And there's a second decal sheet that has all the sponsors and the for the seats, the carbon fiber and all that. And if you care to just do decals for your seat belts. And of course the numbers and everything else like that. And it comes with a pre-cut mask for your windows to do all the black outline around the windows get that nice and smooth and there is your reflective mirrors and everything like that all die cut you can see how reflective it is and we're kind of going last when we usually go first because this is at the bottom of the box is the instruction sheet and it is a very detailed well illustrated instruction sheet and to me uh does such excellent instruction sheets. I love them how they mark even what paint to use. Of course, using their paint codes to use to properly paint everything on their kits. I, I and they're just they're very easy to read and follow, and extremely well done. So where you can see properly what every part is and where it goes, and I just never have any issues with to me is instructions when I follow instructions of course I will probably just chuck these why should I read them I just kamikaze build and there you have it with the Tamiya 2001 Subaru Impreza WRX and this was the one that was nicknamed the bug eye because the round headlights so there we go I always like the bug eye for some reason that was the one that I just think is is the cool looking car and that's why I got it. Actually, I got to give thanks to Daniel. If you've seen any of our live streams at Andy's on Andy's Hobby Headquarters, Daniel sit in a few times. He's the one who also got me that Datsun pickup. That's my friend Daniel. So um, now I'm into him. I, I owe him uh, some good videos is what he says. I got I to gotta make good videos. So <laughs> There you go, Daniel. Both kits you've got me have wound up on the internet. So thank you very much for that. And thank you guys for being a part of this and being a part of uh, what you want to see and the next one that we're going to do is going to be one of the Mustang 2's that was the one that got the second most votes so next Lucas kits is going to be the mid 70's Mustang 2 we'll see you then thanks for stopping in and give us a like and subscribe if you haven't because we got tons more coming to you thank you very much and have a great modeling day and life and you keep on modeling or keep cutting that styrene or whatever my catchphrase is today I don't know yet haven't decided but we'll talk to you then thank you so there you have it another episode of Lucas Kits and that is it with the 
and there is, and there's, well, that, you kidding me, really? Shut up!